Hey guys, we're back and today we are going to talk about maintenance. So we're going to get a little more detail on feeding these caterpillars, caring for these caterpillars, and sort of a do-don't list. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but we're going to get into this. And what we're going to do today is we're going to actually get them out of these and into, well, I'm going to give them a small earthquake first. We're going to get them into the, the wire world, which is really going to be the habitat. Now this habitat has very small mesh. I can't really seem to get a focus on this, but um, it's much better than uh, some of the mesh that we'll be talking about a little later for bigger enclosures for when they get older uh, because they can't get through it. Now this does have a couple of holes in it, which I've sort of um, just stuck some paper towels in there for now to keep them from getting out. Um, this is just an overall enclosure that looks terrible but still functions great and poses no risk to their health, which is the most important thing. So you'll notice I'm wearing gloves, not mandatory, uh, but it does help with not transferring any kind of bacteria. So next, uh, as you'll see over here, I have host plant and I have paper towels. Now paper towels are going to line the bottom of this. Uh, that's going to help with the frass, which we'll get to in a moment. And also I have this spritzer bottle. And I bought this at the dollar store. Um, I like it because it allows me to kind of control how much water is really uh, going where rather than a bigger spray bottle. A bigger spray bottle really comes into play much later, uh, fourth and fifth end star, uh, which we will talk about when they get a little older. But uh, really, I use this all the time, even as they're older, getting ready to uh, pupate. Uh, it just uses more water. That's all. Just a little more work. So first things first, we're actually going to take these little guys out. So we're going to set it there. Now these lids are not on tight. These lids are on very loosely. And what that does is that allows uh, air in. Uh, they don't need a ton of oxygen uh, so young, uh, but they will need more oxygen as they get a bit older. And we're just going to go ahead and let them start running about freely. Now, first thing we're going to do here to get this ready. So we're going to move the hose plant out of the way. And I've got some paper towels sort of broken down here. And what we're going to do is just start setting it in there. Now I'm going to, this has corners. I really don't like the way the corners are made on this as much. Uh, very kind of annoying here. But we're going to lay this in here as best that we can. And we're just going to try to cover most of the ground surface area. It's not absolutely vital. It's not something that's uh, really a, like big of a deal. Um, in fact, I'm not really going to get those corners unless I get another piece, but uh, I'll tell you what, I think I am going to get another piece here. So we're going to I'm going to grab the roll of paper towels here. I'm going to rip one off. You can Oh, I ripped that one in fact. All right. Well, that was well done, wasn't it? So shaky cam for a second here while I finish destroying this, this small piece. Um, yeah, that's good. <laughs> so we'll just lay it like this. It'll be perfectly fine. That'll be that'll be great. We'll cover that up a little bit more right there. All right. Now, be aware that the caterpillars are going to run all over this, and they're going to stick to it like crazy because they're just going to go everywhere. So when you remove this, they're probably going to be underneath it everywhere. So when it's time to start changing out frass and everything, be aware that you don't throw your caterpillars away if you can if you can help it. Um, so next things next, we're going to move on to host plant. Now this host plant, uh, I, I'm not a botanist. Uh, I believe this is mountain ash. Uh, this is not really on their normal diet. However, um, they love it. <laughs> so, in fact, I think I'm actually going to do this this way instead. You know, I probably shouldn't angle it toward the, you know, yeah, I will angle it toward the one corner that I just messed with. So, yeah, we'll do it that way. So, stay up there. It's not going to stay up there. Uh, maybe we can kind of, you know what, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Now, next thing's next, spritzer bottle. Pop the top, top off of it here. I've got water in there. It's just warm uh, room temperature. Um, you can go cooler if you want, but it's just tap water. There's nothing special about it. If you're particularly uh, concerned with uh, what kind of water they're drinking, you can get some uh, distilled or something like that. And I'm just wetting it down really well. All I'm doing here is trying to make sure there's enough water for them to drink as well. So I just coat this down really, really good. Now, this has a pro and a con to it in that you need a lot of water 
but water also breeds fungus. So you can see that right there in that corner, that paper towel is pretty wet. It's really, it's wetter than what it should be. Uh, wetting the post plant before you put it in is actually a better plan. Um, I just couldn't hold the phone and do all of that <laughs> anyway. So this is actually going to get taken out probably within 24 hours and change. Normally, two to three days, you should be fine. Maybe even four to five days due to their size. Uh, so we're going to set this back in here. And we're going to open it up. And you've got a couple on the lid here. So we can see that here they are. Um, this darker color oftentimes means when they're older, they're, they're not really feeling too great. Maybe um, they're not drinking enough. Maybe they're not eating enough. Uh, but as you can see here, lots of little caterpillars hanging out in there. All that little black in there is frass, or uh, more simply put, it's just caterpillar poop. So that's a great thing. Um, there's none on this lid, it seems like. There is not. So these actually have not started to really hatch yet. We've got one hanging out right along in there. And we probably have one on the hunter side somewhere. But um, I have heard that if you put a host plant in with eggs, the eggs will take longer to hatch. Now, I've never really experienced that prior to now. So I don't know. Look at this lid here. Look at that. we got some brown ones here. So hopefully they will uh, get a little more lively. We're going to set that closer to the host plant there. We'll get those guys kind of involved. Uh, lots and lots and lots of caterpillars in here. Uh, a lot of frass in the bottom that they're avoiding, which is, it's sort of one of those things where don't eat where you poo kind of thing. And so we want to get them out of this and, and get them into a better environment. Alternatively, if you don't want to do this, you can just take, take this host plant out and then just wipe all of this frass out and go ahead and put new host plant in and they'll be, they'll be happy with that too. Um, again, I just happen to have the habitat and I just want to go ahead and start letting them get a little more uh, freedom. So you can see we got a little caterpillar on the next lid. Uh, there he is, looking a little, a little peakish as well. So let's just slip him somewhere over here. There we are. I apologize for the not so great camera work as well. Now this guy, I don't know if you can really, oh, come on camera, you can do it. Nope, it can't do it. You can sort of see this guy. Um, he's actually getting kind of big already. So he's probably one of the early bloomers out of there. Um, now really, a way that would help a lot of this is to just sort of turn it up. Um, but realistically, they're gonna come out, they're gonna find the host plant on their own. They're gonna start exploring more. Uh, not particularly a big issue. You can also take a host plant and lay it across this and they'll start coming out and getting on it if you really want to draw them out quicker. Um, overall, I'm not too concerned about um, them getting out and finding the host plant and being okay. So look at this lid. Here we have several. See this nice green one here? This is the color, ah, oh, the camera doesn't want to focus today. This is the color that they're going to be most of their lives, really. They're gonna have this nice vibrant green to them. And this one's pretty good size as well. You can really see compared to the one next to it, uh, which is only about half its size, maybe a little smaller. So doing quite well there. So we're gonna take this lid and I'm gonna drop it because that's how clumsy I am. Set it there. And then look at the number of caterpillars here. That is amazing. Uh, in fact, we really could turn these sideways to make things a little bit easier, a little facilitate their movement a little more. Uh, in fact, we may do that today, actually. Um, let me try to make it just a little bit easier on them. So let's move this lid over here sideways. Then let's just turn this up. Um, we're probably going to get more frass um, spilled as we move this around and things done, which is fine because we want to get it out of their environment as quickly as possible and uh, not take any risks of, ch of, of growing any fungus. That's a big concern. Um, and when you're handling these, you can wear gloves or you can just wash your hands. Don't use any type of uh, cleaner. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? They found the host plant quicker that way. Um, you don't want to use um, anything like uh, bleach, obviously, uh, or any type of um, scented hand soaps, things like that. Just nothing that you want to introduce in to them that could be harmful to them. Um, also, I should point out that realistically, 
in here, I have at least 100 caterpillars, right? Uh, probably a third of them will live. And that's just the way it goes. I mean, just imagine if all of the caterpillars, uh, of all the butterflies, all the moths lived, the amount of decimation that would cause to crops and trees and things like that. So just keep in mind that um, how many every caterpillars you have, uh, just theoretically say that a third will make it. Um, it's The probability goes up if you have smaller numbers. So if you only have five of them, probably all five are going to be perfectly fine because you can keep track of them and take care of them and do well with them. Um, larger numbers like this, it can be interesting. Uh, I find that um, sometimes they just die for no reason. I actually had several this, uh, instar uh, ready to pupate uh, caterpillars and they just died. Uh, I couldn't tell you why they look completely healthy. I don't actually know the reason. Uh, I don't know if that's just a, some type of uh, natural <laughs> biological time bomb that goes off, but uh, yeah. So this looks a little chaotic and a little dirty at the moment, but on the next video we will talk about uh, really making sure that everything then is moving and transitioning into the next phase. Again, if you're still using these, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure they're cleaned out and uh, you don't even have to use paper towels in the bottom if you don't want to. Um, it's good to do it because it, it absorbs moisture and it keeps fungus down, uh, which you don't want fungi in there. Uh, so if you're using an enclosure, this is the final thing we'll really kind of get into here, is these zippers, be very careful because they'll get on the opposite side of this and uh, they will lay here. And when you start to unzip it or zip it, you're going to murder uh, my caterpillar and they will do this their entire life and the more you have the more you have to watch out um so that's a real thing so this paper towel when we start to take it out and we start doing a big cleaning i will show how you will do that you will need a another say uh, aluminum pan or uh, if you have a baking sheet anything just something else to set things over into while you clean it out uh, that will work well and I'll show you what I mean by that in the next video. Um, and we will continue to watch these little guys get bigger. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you're enjoying the journey so far. And I am really excited to see them get into their next stage and, and just keep growing. So thank you guys for checking this out. And I think I'm going to put another host plan in here, actually. So I'm going to go do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.